Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that agile basic stuff called product theme, epic and story. So this is the day five. In this day five, we'll talk about the structure of the agile, how they have interrelated. And in our last video, we talk about that what all user is present to the agile and then how they are related with that. So very first thing is that in the last video, we talk about the product. So in the top, we have a product and product is product have a user called product owner so product have a user called product owner who maintain that the product owner have also access to all this lower uh, module called theme epic story so they can read write and edit and they can create that so product owner product is a, a product is uh, you know um, maintained by the product owner who have that scrum underscore product underscore user they have accessed or modified this whole all these lower um, module called theme epic or story also we do have another uh, role called scrum master scrum master have a access on that uh, on the level of the epic they can modify the epic and they can modify the story similarly we can ha we have that team member role scrum team member they have access on the story level and they can modify and they can update the story similarly we have a scrum user scrum user have all this module to read the access they can't modify or they can't edit anything on this story so this is how the four user we have discussed are in our previous sessions if you have not watched that previous session i'll request to go and watch my previous sessions now today we'll talk about the what is the product in our agile so product is nothing but it's kind of a software it could be a software or it could be a project in a high level so a product is nothing but a representation of the features or maybe a, a high level uh, details call that maybe one of the features or one of the one of the um and a new enhancement big in enhancement let's say that you are going to implement a service now itbm right service now itbm the product is the service now itbm or maybe you are going to implement that service now catalog item in your service now instance so the product is the service now uh, you know uh, 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 catalog item that is product okay so if you see this product uh, in the right side we have an example so employee portal so employee portal might be a product okay so you are building employee portal so employee portal might be a product so after product we have a theme so theme is like a a focus area of associated business value so let's say that catalog management if you see the definition it's saying that area of focus with the associated business value theme is related to one or more company's goal so basically theme is a particular one group or it belongs can be one group or two or multiple groups groups but theme is a high level if you see the employee portal the employee portal have a catalog management so this is the how the breakdown is happening so the top software this is or this is top features this is one of the features that we are talking about product and then after that the next hierarchy or the next breakdown is the theme after that we have a epic epic is nothing but a high level definition of the requirement so let's say that you are building that onboarding catalog item so there might be multiple epics for a theme so this is might be my catalog management and here we can have the onboarding catalog item here we can have offboarding catalog item like that the we are break down that so epic is a high level requirement that we are saying that onboarding catalog item now under this epic we have a story story is nothing but the breakdown on detailed description each and every um uh, development that has to be developed by a developer so that's let's say that service portal menu link so the user who have that service portal uh, they have to have built the links and in the story we have to define each and every use case like what should be the features what what should be the testing case each and every details will be defined under the story and that story will be assigned to a assignment group or development group and then the story will be assigned to a particular developer then we have the backlog so backlog is nothing but list of work that must be implemented so let's say that uh, in the backlog there will be thousand of stories so first we have designed this this is our agile and then we created thousand of story that that has to be done one by one and that will go to the backlog okay once the one we decided once we decided that this story has to be built that and if we don't assign to a particular i mean we know that this has to be built but we if we don't assign to a when it will be developed 
at that case we call that a backlog so that's all about uh, how the structure is look like the how the agile structure looks like and who all can manage these uh, this module one by one we have discussed in our next video we'll discuss about further more and we'll deep dive more so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day